You heard it there. There's a pretty long list to consider. Now, whenever Governor Cooper decides to relax the rules, don't expect a quick return to the normal we knew. Our Joe Bruno walks us through what it'll all look like. We're about halfway through the stay at home order and the good news is based on the early estimates, it looks like everything we are doing social distancing wise is working. The curve is starting to flatten. So now the talk is about easing restrictions and what that might look like. Well, it's not going to be like a light switch where you flip it on and everything goes back to normal. It's going to be more like a dimmer where we ease back with the restrictions and things will slowly start to look like what they used to be. They're supporting a small business and they really are supporting a dream. Hailing all the way from South Africa, Talua Duffin and her husband Richard have poured their heart and spirit into Oh My Soul in Noda. This cute house turned vegan restaurant was only open 10 days before COVID-19 forced them to change their plans. At first it was a little bit, you know, disheartening and we felt just a little bit deflated because we had just opened up and we were so excited and, you know, to get our name out there and would you like anything else? Like all businesses, Duffin is hoping to welcome back customers in soon. When will that happen and how? We have a slightly better idea. Congressman and Dr. Greg Murphy tells me the state is moving in a positive direction and not all, but some restrictions might be able to be lifted or lightened soon. We've been able to give our medical facilities fine to ramp up. Do they have everything they need at this point? Not quite, but I think they have enough of what they need to be able to relax the restrictions a bit. He cites restaurants, beauty salons, barbershops, and churches as places that may be able to open up their doors with changes, like leaving patrons a table or chair apart. Oh My Soul has been surviving on takeout orders, but Duffin says even welcoming a few more people for sit-down dining would help. I think it would make a huge difference. Um, I think it's really hard for people to have a first-time experience as a takeout. But only if the timing is right. If that's going to affect dining as a whole and, you know, getting us back to quarantine where we can't provide food service at all, then we'd rather just continue doing curbside and collection until we can be 100% certain that it's safe for us to do so. Mecklenburg County stay at home order now aligns with the states, which ends on April 29th. If Governor Roy Cooper extends the stay at home order, then Mecklenburg counties automatically would extend as well.